Hello, I am Fjallspak and welcome to Europa Universalis, where we are playing as Jump Switchings in a game that we have converted over from Crusader Kings 2. And we are on the verge of going into Peasants War and Bankruptcy at the same time. I've been reading a little bit about the modifiers. Bankruptcy clears your Monarch points, all of them, and makes your Devotion go down to zero and Prestige as well, I believe. Maybe even Power Projection. Well, the Peasants War does not do that, but uh, yeah, bankruptcy, uh, number of loans, it clears the loans from going bankruptcy, but it actually adds a plus two modifier to the Peasants War on bankruptcy, so it does not work going bankrupt to avoid the Peasants War. So we are going to go into Peasants War no matter what. And we are going to go bankrupt no matter what, really. That might not happen immediately, but that will definitely happen. How many loans can I actually take? Do I see that somewhere? I have a 19. Well, there it says. Five years, you can have 22 loans. And we have 19. So another three. I see. Right, so, if I'm correct, I sh don't need to spend my Monarch points before the Peasants War. So let's go with that, and if that does not hold true, then I will probably just reload this, because I will spend the points to develop my provinces. Right, where is the Danish army? Uh, there you are. Where are you going? You're going to where we are. Alright, then we have joined together. And we indeed have. So maybe we can take on these guys. Promising trader, yeah, he's not going to be hired at all. So, 96. We're going to be the defender here because we have a fort. Are they going to be managed, uh, able to reinforce? Our morale uh, is way higher though, so we should hopefully kick him out real soon. Uh, before the other people arrive, and we do, excellent. And wait for morale to come back up. Peasants war just around the corner. Uh, yep, you can have access. That is all fine. So, first of March. Hopefully, we have kicked out these guys before that happens. Okay, our troops are quite good. So we did win this fight as well. Guess we'll head back this way and on the siege slowly here. So. One more month. Roman Empire is now considered a great great empire, uh, great uh, power. So, are we going to lose our points now? Or not? The way I read it, it's or not. But I, I don't trust that, do I? So, let's go with development and then work from there. This is our, we've got by cost. Danzig seems to be the cheapest currently. Together with Marienburg and Danzig, are you a core territory? They have all sorts of cores here that I don't like at all. Marienburg was here. That's not our culture though. So that's not going to be them either. Chelmno. 
And it cost 50. It's here. Italy has cores here. So nothing down here that we are the sole core havers, owners, or whatever you call it. The sole proprietors. No, 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 none of these, I imagine. Nope. So here, not even the case here. Not even the case, but here Denmark, they have a claim. So, question is, do I go different places or do I just concentrate on these? And I think I'll concentrate on my capital, basically. I don't have enough points there anymore. As much as we can afford. Bankruptcy looming, I know that. Can we then afford to put some points this way? Nope. 62. So who's the cheapest? It is gonna be 47. So that's gonna be you. And that's all sure. So next month, in a few days, we are going to get into real trouble. We occupy this place, that's all fine. You head towards Hamburg and start on sieging this. Uh, okay, Peasants War, we did not lose the points. But Bankruptcy, we will. Right, so we lose 6 stability, lose 10 prestige, oh, only 10. And 15 regiments rise up in Danzig. That I don't see in Danzig right now, but that's probably because I haven't clicked this yet. I actually the rise up in Berlin and they are gonna slaughter some Burgundians that happen to be there. And I guess we're gonna turn around with the Danish army and meet them in battle. And then bankruptcy comes around. 48 military points. Those we can develop in Danzig. Don't know exactly when we're going to go bankrupt. Estates, clergy. You want some provinces because we developed our numbers quite high. Now you're at the territorial core or anything like that. Clergy, you take this one. That should be that. Okay, we're still a fighting strength currently. Until we go bankrupt. Peasants protest, so I can have peasants rise up, and we gain more manpower modifier, or get less unrest and less manpower. And I'll actually go with the less manpower, I think, because my manpower they can't actually fight, and we are bankrupt. And yeah, we all go down to minus a hundred points in each category. And um, yeah, what is modifier for this now? It's not here, it is here, right? Uh, which one is it? Missionary strings there, bankruptcy. Five years, not 10, I thought it was 10 years actually. So interest per annum, morale minus 50, morale minus 50 used to be 100. Manpower recovery speed at zero, 100% uh, minus 100%, no manpower, yeah. Sailors, advisors, 
attack and all sorts of things, we are basically in trouble. And bankruptcy times out in order to end the peasants' war. We need to have a stability of plus one and no rebels in the field. And even not even anyone province occupied. So um yeah. Good luck to us. We are stacking together with the Danish, which is actually an advantage being at war right now, because then the warring parties will take out our uh, rebels. Our numbers are quite low. Danish, how are you at? You are quite high. We have 5,000 of these, so this is about 12,000. Let's head this way and see if we can take on these guys. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Depends on how many people the Danish have gotten back here. They are 15,000, they are 16. Okay, they can't actually get there, so let's see if we can unseize the fort then. Minus 15 and minus 64. National decentralization. Crush the rebels or lose some money and lose some stability. Yeah, we are still losing money, even though we are gone bankrupt and lost all our loans, right? Right. Stability cost is for two years, though. Call the diplomat. relations with these guys. Are you coming for us? You might be. And indeed you are. Which means they think they can win. Which may be true. So 11, 12,000 or so. Against the Danish. I think we are running. Yeah, another loan, so we're going to go bankrupt again. This is what happens to other nations that have gone bankrupt, like the Mongol Empire, they just keep going bankrupt. Right, where are we going to be? They're going to go here, woods. So if we go here, then we will be the defender and they will get a malice. Actually, they're going somewhere else now. Yeah, Brennenburgian conquest of Berlin. And who joins in? Denmark does not join in. Great. So here we are, no, not quite our, by ourselves. Our vassals are here. Right. Oh, Danish are not following us anymore. Can we attach to the Danish? Now they're following, I see. Okay, don't have they don't have enough troops to siege though. Where are you going? They here grasslands, we will be the defenders. Obsolete forces. National unrest and cost of soldiers or lose even more money. Now, I guess we will go this way. Danish soldiers, you should win this. 
Hopefully, hopefully it's going to be close. Yeah, we won this. Excellent. These guys are actually willing to white piece. Nope, not quite. Not quite there. Guess we're going back to Hamburg. My guys, they're actually not reinforcing because we're not getting any troops. We might as well consolidate. Okay, Gelre is around. Danish, how many troops do you have with you? Yeah, you may. Oh, crowd Italians are coming at us. No, they're going this way. Yeah, we are in a bit of a trouble spot here, so oh, these guys, they will, the Danes will join us in the fight against those guys. And actually, these guys can, oh, they're already in trouble. Can I re-ally you? Of course I can't. And these guys, of course I can't. I don't know, improve relations somewhere. Do something. Do something. They are in the woods. So, actually, we don't want to go this way. We won't go this way. Which means we will get the benefit of the woods. Even though we are attacking in here. Should definitely be to our advantage. Negative one only. I'm gonna lose this one. Looks like we might be. Revolt in our capital. Great. I wanted revolts to be done here, but there's also a stack here. lost this one unfortunately actually I thought you had minus 100 manpower type thingy here The speed by which manpower recovers is modified. Oh, it's not at exactly minus 100 because I actually do have nobility plus 15. So it is slow, but uh, not non existent. A council after our own tastes. Gain one national theologian that is cheaper. Level that. No, no. Guess we'll get some uh, devo devotion. We can't afford the guy anyway. Oh, by the way, is he still around? No, no, he got fired. He got fired, and we are still losing oodles of money for some reason. Interests, because we have a loan. Fort maintenance, because we're at war. Rooting out corruption, because we went bankrupt. We got a lot of corruption, right? Army still costs us a bit. And the Danish soldiers are gone off wandering by themselves. Right, we should not stay next to these rebels because our guys, they cannot fight properly. Until the bankruptcy has gone away in five years. We are positive on admin points. Uh, okay, lost some influence. That's all fine. How much for this to boost? 
180. Yeah, that's gonna be a while. Huh. So I'm thinking, should I do another few episodes until we get completely dismantled, or do I just stop here and say, this was that, and we have sort of failed? Our capital's about to fall also. Now let's keep running for a wee while, um, and sort of see how badly we get dismantled before we actually get out of the Peasants' War, or if we even get out of the Peasants' War. I think I'll do that. But I will carry this on in the next episode. I will take a break here. Thank you very much for watching.